Taurus, if you're wondering when is the best time to initiate something new or even taking a bit of a risk, the time is now because your Akashic Records show promising results in a month's time. For a limited time, I am taking requests from viewers. If you have any questions you would like guidance from the Akashic Records, you can use the link in the description to submit your questions. I am planning on doing a video or now it's looking more like a few videos on the questions submitted and the answers I got from the Akashic Records. It's going to be a collective reading. However, if personal messages come through, I will release the messages without mentioning your details. Let's get into your Akashic Records channeled messages first. As soon as I tapped into your Akashic Records, here's what your guides told me. It's time to initiate the transformation by summoning wisdom and guidance from the higher realm. Revisit something you tucked away and kept hidden for a long time. Things aren't as bad or as scary as you think. So as soon as I tapped into your Akashic Records, all I saw was just darkness. Usually this indicates you, uh, someone's been dormant for some time or that you're going through something difficult. Perhaps, you know, a lot of self-doubt and um, even paranoia, paranoia, like paranoid thoughts sometimes, really intensified emotions, really like the down turn of like the roller coaster ride. And I saw a lot of eyes in the darkness and those eyes felt more like, um, like foes more than friends. So this could suggest, you know, internally you're struggling with a lot of your shadows and if that's reflected in your external reality, that could mean that someone, you, you are not gelling with someone, you know, perhaps there are conflicts, perhaps there's like suspicions, lack of trust, some sort of drama going on with people in your life. And then I saw a chess bureau and um, the drawer, one of the drawers opened and then a rainbow came out of that drawer. So whenever I see a rainbow in a vision, it always indicates a change is right around a corner. So keep the hope because the new beginning is coming. And of course, I think, you know, you are the one who has to open the drawer of the chess bureau. And then your spirit guides from the Akashic Records said, you think you're alone in the darkness. Little do you know how many creatures feel comfortable existing in the darkness. So this is talking about the eyes that I saw in the darkness, right? So um, intuitively, when they shared this message, the feeling I got, the energy I picked up was, you think you're all alone in this space, perhaps because something happened, someone made you feel this way. And you think, this almost feels like extreme isolation. Nobody understands me. You're like in a corner all by yourself, in, trapped by all these thoughts. But those thoughts are like entities who entities that feel extremely comfortable even feed on the energy of desperation in the darkness. So the eyes, the symbolic meaning of the eyes in the darkness, they said represents temptations, old habits, something that happened in the past that you haven't dealt with, um, waiting for a chance to, those eyes, those entities, they're just waiting for a chance to pounce and keep you in the darkness. So this is not like a dire warning, something to be terrified of because you have the power to not give your energy to these creatures, right? So this is just bringing your awareness to what is going on when you are in this state of being in the darkness. So I asked the spirit guides from the Akashic workers, so what can you do? And they said, of course, to open the drawer. In the drawer, there's something that you've forgotten, something that you tucked away for a long time, and it's time for you to release it to summon hope, to summon information and messages, wisdom from the higher realm, summon the truth from the higher realm. So higher realm here, I think it's talking about your either your higher self, your spirit guides, if you have, if you practice any modality, that would be the source of your kind of like power. Um, higher realm could also be just your, like the more positively charged energies and thoughts rather than the negative thoughts. Um, and something that you tucked away that's really interesting like the strongest energy that felt to me was this part of you that you kind of imputated you rejected from yourself now i'm just seeing like a little child just like falling and waiting to be caught in a safety net this is talking about like independence to me, like self-trust in your power to me. This is talking about perhaps 
you are conditioned or perhaps from past trauma because they mentioned the past too in the past the trauma left you think that you are not worthy you have to be rescued you don't have the power to manifest what you want you don't have the power to be who you are like there's like you're powerless in a way it may not show up in every aspect of your life but when you pay attention you will recognize a pattern of cycles repeating themselves of you giving away your power and kind of going retrieving back to that dark place because of some external events perhaps a person you know a relationship whatever that vision is talking about it's time for you to take your power back from those dark entities to me so this indicates to me shadow work or revisiting unresolved childhood traumas will give you clear indications or clear clues to what this pattern is and what you've tucked away in a drawer and that's what you need to retrieve in order to get out of this situation for good and your spirit guides further like was pointing at the chess bureau and they said this chess bureau represents something or someone or a part of you that you keep protected from contamination contamination it's a safe space for you to hide your treasure it's a map to navigate your consciousness and for some reason i'm getting this split image of you the version of you that kind of you put out to face the public but there's like a kind of sounds like personality just multi-personality disorder or something but it's not like that it's we all have part of us that we kind of like hide from the public right so the chess bureau represents the part that you hide from other people and it's like a space it's a space that your consciousness even because they talk about this to understand your consciousness or to connect with your consciousness this is your navigation so it's kind of like a space and whenever you feel like you need to hide a part of you you put that part of you in this chest let's say you were outspoken about your truth and then you got shut down and then you learn from that reaction from that feedback you learn oh i should just shut my mouth so you put that part of you that's brave enough to speak a truth to speak up in this chest and lock it away and next time when something happened the feedback is negative you're like okay so i don't want to get hurt again i'll put that part away too so in this chest bureau there are a lot that you can release to integrate back to your whole being and they said it could be a blocked memory a disguised feeling a disguised feeling could mean that if you feel angry all the time deep the deeper meaning of that anger could be hurt could be shame could be guilt so that's something you need to navigate and then find out the root cause of that constant um, negatively charged emotions that's surfacing in your life and the root cause of it and the trigger of it also they mentioned some suppressed instinct so trust your gut feelings perhaps you don't trust yourself enough um, something tucked away could also represent some sort of your passion some, your love for something your goal and I'm getting this image it's kind of funny it's like I'm convincing myself that I don't want this but not because I don't want this I'm convincing myself I don't want this because I'm afraid it wouldn't com come true so I feel guided to get some cards to perhaps pull more information from this because I feel like the energies kind of changed a little bit since the last time I tapped into your records to get the messages here the energy feels a little bit lighter it could be you know the collective energy that's shifting that's kind of helping you pushing you to get out of this rut so let, let's do that let's do this. this octopus spirit animal is representing your energy right now we all know octopus they represent intelligence and similar to I feel like this energy is similar to the Capricorn energy maybe that's why um, the energy kind of shifted a little bit because you are being encouraged to reach far into all corners possible together to find clues to solve a piece of a puzzle that will propel you what that will bring forward this breakthrough so Perhaps you have tor uh, you have Capricorn in your chart in a different placement, whatever. You can check out that video if you feel called to. But basically, the channel message from the Akashic Records is that 
right now it feels like you're kind of like sitting on a piece of dry land it's cracked because it's super dry it's you know of course it's symbolic but then you go under the the land and you find this like room like an escape room almost and your task is to find the water valves to turn on the water once the water comes flushing out of those pipes this piece of dry land will turn into a geyser and just like shoots up in the sky creating this like breakthrough and bringing forward abundant life and opportunities i feel like that energy feels very much like this octopus energy that <clears throat> that you're being guided to kind of tap into and you have earth guardian stay rooted and grounded so that darkness that dark place is like your headspace right it's it could be the manifestation of your fear it could be your paranoia whatever but tap into your heart center tap into your heart center since you are an earth sign like the earth guardian the earth element of this grounding energy is ever so important i think a lot of you your soul's energy loves like really hands-on experience loves like physical experiences you know perhaps you're one of those um kids who are just not fit for like sitting at a desk just like learning at school you need to really experience something vividly physically hands-on in order to enjoy the process of the learning in order to learn something perhaps you're someone who's into like moving around traveling just experiencing stuff like dancing yoga you know think of anything that's like really physical that your eternal being part of you cannot do like soul cannot do the physical building something even writing something even hand healers i'm seeing someone healing someone using their hands channel that energy do more of those activities that will help ground you and pull you out of that darkness and this is just catching my eye like the colors that this octopus has the third chakra power and i just heard willpower your spirit guides are saying be determined this time because you're kind of breaking a cycle breaking a pattern perhaps this is not the first time you're experiencing this pattern this drama I'm seeing like a spider web with a spider on the web and this spider is detecting like really minor movement like small vibrations using its web perhaps some insects you know catching some prey like even though this movement is so tiny the spider could pick it up so what does this mean perhaps it's talking about your sensitivity Perhaps it's talking, reminding you to be alert. So representing your current situation, you have the death card. That is a beautiful card because you're like um, the cycle that we're talking about, this breaking this pattern. This is a major transformation that you're going through. And perhaps you've been repeating this, but right now I'm kind of getting like this cycle comes like once a year, something like that. Once a year, once a couple years, you this cycle would like kind of like occur and you'll be stuck in this cycle for like two, three months, even like for, for a while. But right now you're kind of like coming up from the, the rut, or you're being encouraged to come up from the rut, and you have guidance as to how to do that. And this is like a major milestone in your life. I'm getting 33. Maybe someone is turning 33 or someone's 33. And I just heard this is not the end. This is a beautiful transformation, powerful transformation that you're going through. And the surrounding energy, you have the hanged man and the bat. And even though um, it's the spider we saw in the vision, I think this is talking about a similar message. Like, you know, bats are super sensitive. They pick up sounds, right? And the spiders pick up movement, sound and movement. And the hanged man is talking about looking at things from a different perspective. Be unpredictable, I just heard. 
you are being asked to be unpredictable, to shake up the energy. And I have a strong feeling that this, whatever drama that you are dealing with, it, it involves another person. And you being afraid, you are self-doubt, whatever energy that you are trapping yourself in is kind of feeding the other person to sustain the other person's manipulative behaviors or whatever. And, and of course, we don't want to give our power away by thinking that someone is out there to do me harm. I'm scared, I have to protect myself. No, because if you don't allow it, no one can hurt you. Energetically speaking, like unless it like put a gun to your head or something, that's another case. And it's also about trusting your instinct. I think in the channel messages, we talked about instincts as well. Both the spiders in the vision and the bats, they communicate strongly about trusting and relying on your instincts. You are a highly intuitive person and you're being encouraged to really tap and trust yourself and follow your instinct. Be aware of the temptations in the darkness because the temptations in the darkness could mess, mess with your instinct, leading you to think it's your instinct, but actually it's fear, like paranoia or whatever. So get out of that dark place first by getting grounded, by doing you know physical activities that actually makes you happy, make you balance. Get out of that dark place and then use your instinct again. It's almost like an exercise for you to sharpen your intuition. I'm hearing. Okay. So I feel guided to just keep going on. I feel like more details will kind of unravel as we go on. So, um, I like to ask specifically about different life areas and the two, one of the life areas I always ask about is about career or, you know, your job adventure. If you're still in school, that would be your school. The energies available for you to tap into for your career for growth right now is there's a higher power. It almost feels like an invisible hand is kind of weaving together some sort of, some sort of like tapestry for you. So go after what your heart desires because I see celebrations as the outcome. I see celebrations as the outcome. And I got um, in a month's time. So whenever you are watching this, as long as you are diligent and you direct your willpower to really stretch far, to stretch yourself, to get out of that dark place, in a month's time, you'll notice a shift, especially in your life area of career. Your guides have some messages for you. They said to embrace your gift. Don't be shy about getting recognized and praised. And they put a stop sign, a big stop sign to the words imposter syndrome. They're asking you to go after your goals. Don't sink to other people's levels. Don't ignore or let your passion die because of fear, because of what you're going through. Ignite the fire in your belly. And I heard music, I saw a parade, I saw you leading the parade like you are the leader and you just feel like confident and more importantly you're having fun so this celebration celebratory energy comes through very strongly for your career in terms of the life areas of relationships this could include relationship with yourself self-love which i feel like for you at this point you're being guided to emphasize more about relationship with yourself it could also be you know kind of partnerships business professional relationships with family or romantic. Your spirit guides are asking you to be observant. Turn on the stealth mode. Something requires your instinct to know when to strike and when to lay low. So here comes the instinct again. Bats and the spider that we saw in the vision. They're saying, I heard not for you. So this could mean that if you experience some sort of um, rejection, that's actually a protection for you, trying to reorient you towards the right direction. I heard expired relationships, dancing with the ghost, dancing with the memory, dancing with an illusion. So perhaps something, some relationships are just not meant to be your life anymore, but you're still kind of, you can um, quite come to a place of acceptance that it's ended or it hasn't even started perhaps 
you were just really treated very badly, abandoned even, that you didn't have a say. It felt like you didn't have a choice in this relationship and that's why you couldn't find closure. Something is forming, something is coming in very quickly and passing by as quickly as it's coming. So that's what I saw. So what I saw in your records when they're, when I'm channeling the relationship aspect is that you were kind of waiting at the, at a place and you are expecting like something to come very quickly. So this thing, this force comes very quickly and passes you by very quickly too. Like you didn't even have a chance to interact with that force. And it felt me feeling like I didn't even have a chance. I didn't have a choice. I wanted this to go another way. Perhaps this thing, this force, this person, this relationship would stop at where I am and we can interact and whatever. However, it's as if I don't even belong in this part of the journey for that incoming force. That feeling is kind of tricky, but that's how I felt. So if that's the case, because they say not for you, that means, you know, this experience is not for you. It's time for you to move on and turn on your stealth mode. That's kind of an interesting advice. To really be careful, I think it's, you know, to be cautious. Um, perhaps, you know, sometimes when you're really upfront about your um, intention or, you know, sometimes people do take advantage of because right now I'm just seeing the channel vision of the darkness, those eyes in the darkness again, that you could be a prey <laughs> to someone else, right? So you have to learn to protect yourself. Um, I do feel guided to pull more cards for relationships just to see what is going on. So maybe we can look at relationship with self, romantic and professional relationship. So let's look at three. Presenting your relationship with self, you have drifter, experiencing life as it comes. This is talking about surrendering, working with the larger force, the way to um, manifest your heart's desire to live your life. And second card you have for relationship with self, you have dust devil, moving out of stagnation. Exactly, this is what you're trying to do right now. So perhaps the clue to move out of that stagnation to get out the darkness is to go to drift a little bit something you're resisting and i just got karmic lessons some karmic lesson that you are resisting you are running away from i feel like there is a difficult situation a difficult decision you might have to make to close that chapter and that chapter has caused a lot of harm to you and that's why it's so difficult for you to face it but that's the root cause of this darkness that keeps on kind of holding you back every year, every two years. And perhaps this is also talking about your soul's nature is the way you live your life is just, you've always just like go with the flow, see what comes, you really welcome, you know, experiences like that. But you've been kind of limiting yourself because of this karmic lesson. We'll pull more tarot cards to clarify, but I just want to look at the overall theme for each. For each. Um, your relation, romantic relationship, you, you have a vanishing mirror, and it's about your ego. Shattering some sort of illusion to see the truth. And so we talk about something that's not yours. And right now I'm seeing an image of someone smashing the mirror because he or she just doesn't like the reflection. So it's sort of like just because every relationship is a mirror reflecting either you the, the aspect you you can enhance or you know your shadows. And I feel like this particular mirror, this relationship really symbolic of a relationship of a person of a karmic lesson, is reflecting your shadow side. And you just don't want to deal with it. 
for career, you have deep quiet, meditation, and stillness. And your spirit guides from the Akashic Records did recommend you to be observant and to turn on the stealth mode, to know when to strike and when to lay low. Perhaps there's some drama. Listen first, observe, like kind of figure out what's going on first before taking any action. And use your intuition. I just heard like someone messing with you. Perhaps, you know, it's some work drama. And if that's the case, the first thing you need to know is you don't need to be afraid because you're not powerless. You have the power to stop this from happening. Like the other person cannot harm you unless you let them. So, like you're literally afraid. Mm. Your energy is represented by five of wands of conflict of everybody perhaps ganging up on you, competition, deliberate harm, I heard. So representing your energy, you have five of wands, representing the party that you're dealing with, and this party could be an individual, could be a collective, like a company or something, could be an individual. It's Spirit of Wands, uh, Spirit of Swords reverse, that is um, King of Swords in traditional tarot. And King of Swords shadow side is manipulation, misuse, misuse of power, of course. So I feel like what's, whatever you feel like the other person is doing to you that's causing you fear, perhaps it's not your imagination. Perhaps there's some truth to it. And you're kind of like back into a corner in the darkness. And I feel like the lack of support, the lack of understanding is an issue for you. That under support from people around you is an issue as well. And just like things just kind of like pile on top of each other. But the reason that's happening this karmic lesson that's happening is because it's teaching you some of the values that you're meant to discover. It's like you've been through a lot of hurdles in your life and this is just another one of those hurdles you've been through. And this is going to teach you, it's going to shine the light on what truly matters to you and it's going to help you gain, develop your new strength to become even stronger. So let's look at it one by one. If this is about relationship with yourself, stop fighting yourself. Because we, um, the channel message did talk about imposter syndrome, right? Did talk about the part of you that you rejected from yourself, you locked away. And that could be triggered by some negative feedback from the environments from other people. If that's the thing, if that's the case, the very thing that people say that's bad about you could be the, your unique soul powers. And you need to embrace that. You need to be vulnerable to take the risk to experiment, to channel that energy for something good. These two cards together kind of tell me the story of how you have to fight yourself against yourself. Like this could represent, you know, your desire to really unleash your authentic powers. And this, this King of Swords reverse is sort of like the voices, the, the darkness within you telling you why you can't, trying to kill your, oh, the channel message did mention ignite the passion in your belly and don't sink to other people's levels, right? So at one point, the voices of others could become your own voice. Other people's voices disguises your own. That's what you need to pay attention to. So be stealth, turn on the stealth mode. Jaguar, I think it's a jaguar. They are known to, uh, they are known, they're, they're, their stealth mode is like infamous, right? That's how they pray. So those voices could sneak up on you. You have to be very aware. And by listening to those voices, becoming aware of vo those voices, you will find your true strength. If this is about love, perhaps the message of not for you is for you to open your eyes as painful as it could be 
as painful as they could be. Learn from what you've seen from this mirror so far, and know that it's that's all you need from this relationship. It's time to move on, because the other person could be manipulative, could be dominant, controlling, because of their own insecurities, and you just feel like you have to constantly defend yourself in this relationship. So it's not for you, not for you. Time to move on. If it's about career, I think we've covered plenty. There's some sort of drama, conflicts, perhaps. And at workplace, you know, sometimes it's better to tread carefully, uh, even if you know the intention of the other person is not pure. Per the, some, sometimes the, the best way is to let the person know that you are not naive, you know, you are not like clueless, but you don't have to like call out what the other person is doing directly. I think that's the guidance from this card to, to um, deep quiet, follow your intuition and you'll figure out the best way to respond to the situation. But it doesn't matter what is happening, I think the rule of thumb is turning it inwards to, turn, to use any experience to empower yourself. Like what have you learned from this situation? What can you take away from this situation? When you can use the energy of that situation in a way that empowers you, then the end result will be empowering for you as well. So don't dwell on it. Do not be afraid. Do not be. Do not think that you're powerless. Okay. Um, I always like to ask the guides to see if there's any blocks to truth. Right. Sometimes we're so entrenched to whatever is going on around us. Even if the truth is right in front of our eyes, we just cannot see it, or we're just not in a receptive mode to accept the truth. So to that, <clears throat> your guides said, you're in murky waters now. Tread carefully. The tendency to go all in could cloud your judgment and you would you tend to rationalize your behaviors, your decisions. But judgments could be clouded and you are in a tricky, situ tricky, situ tricky situation anyway. And so you have to tread it carefully. A mystery is unfolding so I feel like once you are like out of the trouble waters you will have your aha moment um, and they said you're wanting something badly but at the same time you're afraid of certain outcomes because you're afraid of being hurt so I'll leave that for you to interpret I don't feel guided to elaborate on that before I close your Akashic records the advice personal messages from your guides um, again, they ask you to trust your instinct. And I saw the chariot card from tarot card. The chariot card talks about this rapid forward movement with a clear goal, with clarity, with conviction, with a conscious awareness, with alertness to make choices that align with your soul's highest truth. So that's for you. Those are the guidance for you. I feel the energy is kind of heavy, so I'm going to pull the oracle cards just to close it off on a more positive note. This first one, you have the vulture spirit. So vultures are pretty interesting. And it says nothing is wasted. This is talking about as difficult as the situation that you're in might be. Do not waste this opportunity. Do not think that things are happening to you because we all know that this karmic lesson is agreed upon previously and right now I, this quote is kind of appearing in my head we are the captain of our soul a lot of times we feel like we don't have a choice being in this physical world and like working for our soul to learn soul lessons but actually it's not the same you know our soul experiences the consequences of our actions just as much as we do if not more so we do have a say we are the captain we're the captain giving orders to our soul to direct us. I need this information, give it to me so I can help us navigate, right? So the vulture spirit is so beautiful here. Actually, they're attracted to like dead animals, right? And you have the death card. There's a transformation that you're going through. This is further confirmation that you're gonna rise from the ashes like a phoenix. 
in no time, in a month's time if you direct your willpower if you trust if you take the role of the captain of your soul to start demand guidance help you know wisdom to be shared with to help you navigate because they do have right now i'm seeing like you are like on a big ship but you are on the lower deck our soul is the soldier that is like high up looking at all directions right but you are in charge second one you have seahorse spirit watch and wait i think this is confirmation for like the work situation or like it could be, rom be romantic too because um you guys did ask you to be observant turn on the stealth mode when no know when to strike and when to lay low so this is a general reading i'm gonna get into i'm not gonna get into too many details you know how to apply this message the third one you have is the cat spirit claim your independence this is talking about overall this karmic lesson the five of pentacles there is for you to recognize your worth your values so you can empower yourself and be sovereign be the sovereign being that you are meant to be so I hope these channel messages and tarot reading provide you some clarity. If you would like to gain more clarity, get more details personally, feel free to use my website to check out more details. Um, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video and comment down below to let me know how you resonate. Um, other than that, I'll talk to you soon.